Hello and welcome to, uh, it's not a tutorial, it's just a proof of concept of a thing that I've been working on and um, uh, hang on, I got my, uh, that's better. What you see behind me, most of it, not all of it, is, uh, is me working with some kind of uh, tree farms in, in the world that I'm playing in. Uh, we're at a mycelium island and it's like thousands of blocks away from everything so a lot of thing is um, is scarce and, and trees uh, are one of them I mean there's uh, some acacia wood on the island or the, the, the part of the island but there's no dark uh, oak there's no oak there's no spruce so if we run out of saplings that's uh, we need to go quite a bit away to, to get some use. So I've been working on how to, uh, to do something about it. And um, we use a lot of oak, of course, to chests and um, to, you know, all kind of regular things. And that's not that hard. I've kind of built um, a tree farm that you can see behind me. Uh, but spruce is another thing. That doesn't kind of uh, work with most tree farms out there, so I've been messing around with uh, with different solutions, and I think I come up with uh, quite a cool one now, and it's it's working beyond my expectations. So, come on, uh, let me show you. Behold, this is this the sprucinator. I think I will call it the sprucinator. Perhaps, perhaps a sprucinator, something. Yeah, it's quite big, but um, it could be slightly lower, but um, I like a lot of wood. And it's uh, not automatic, it's not an automatic farm, it's a semi-automatic farm and you cannot AFK with it uh, because you have to put uh, four saplings down. It works with giant spruce wood. but. Uh, instead of talking, let me show you how it works. You get in here and um, you have plant your, oh, that's very loud. You plant your spruce down, bone meal the something out of it, and then you have a tree. Like that. And um, course you could go about it you know uh, you can do that everywhere and then you could just you know take out your axe and the problem is that you're almost always gonna lack saplings new saplings to grow it and if you want to go to the top and then work your way through all the leaves it's a monstrous work so I kind of came up with the idea of using flying machines now it's the, the whole thing is made to work in my survival world, so it shouldn't be very costly. So it uses exactly um, eight slime blocks. And that's actually quite expensive in my world, where slimes are not so easy to come by, but I think it's worth it. Now, what you do is do like this, and then you should see the flying machines coming down. And going to the top and I've made very very simple flying machines um, hang on let me better I've made very very simple flying machines um, and they don't break I've used them over and over and over again in this in this the way it's set up now they don't break and that's very important too because if you're messing around with this in survival and you're trying to men broken flying machines in midair and stuff like that it's a really pain in the but the the really the really amazing uh, thing about this is the amount of saplings you get now if you look at my inventory uh, you can see i've got like 20 right now i used four let me try and go around here pick up
So that's 11 right there. And if we go up here, there are two ways you can use it. And there's some up here as well. There are two ways you can use it. You, as, as I said from the beginning, this is just a proof of concept. So you could, of course, install a bubble elevator that as soon as you've done this, will bring you upstairs to the top. And then you would go around here, look down, take out your eggs, and then just, you know, the usual. Get a lot of wood. It doesn't take a long time because you don't have to worry about all of the leaves. That works well. And if you install some, I haven't done it because this is a flat wall, so I've only got one layer left. But you can, of course, you can install uh, hoppers underneath. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that because that's quite expensive, so I would probably make a minecart with a hover going around underneath it all. But that's one way of using it. Uh, and then you just go back, find four new saplings, four new, boom, and another tree. And Just step back and watch the magic happen. Saplings dropping from the sky. And you can see, I've, I've messed around with it quite a lot because there was all kinds of flying machines and I wanted the, the, the cheap ones. And they're leaving these holes. But the thing is, they disappear, you know, very, very fast. So uh, it, it doesn't really matter if you, the price of having to build something that actually uh, removed that as well would not be, uh, would not be uh, um, reasonable um, compared to, to, to uh, the cost compared to, um, I can't speak. You know, it would be too expensive in order to, to, to get the last bits out and they, dis you know, they disappear by themselves quite quickly. And this time, saplings, I mean, I already got some, I think, but 30, 33 starting, how much is this? Uh, and this time it wasn't all that much. But it's almost always, every time, the number of saplings you use and most of the time it's quite a bit more. Now the other way you can use it if you were in survival you could just take out the blocks you need that you can reach with your axe and then you could plant again. Boom. And very often that that very often that gives a lot of more uh, leaves and that's not necessarily a, a bad thing I'm trying I mean I don't have like the answer you know quite clear but I think it actually produces small saplings this way so up saplings fall from heaven and it's 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 truly truly amazing it's so many saplings so you will never ever have to go out to find spruce wood again um, well guys that's basically it. if you're thinking uh, looking at this and thinking oh I like to build this and I'm hoping I will get around to doing a tutorial. I'm not really, you know, uh, I haven't done this very long, so I'm not very good at tutorials. I only did one with the uh, 100,000 item shulker box and this is uh, somewhat a bigger project. But the truth is, it's, it's not really 
that complicated. It really, really isn't. I mean, there's a lot of going back and forth and uh, trying different uh, flying machine layouts and the distance, uh, you know, looking at the game mechanics, distance uh, to the trees and stuff like that. And uh, But I've already done that. So uh, this works. So maybe I will do a tutorial soon. Um, I'm quite sure that I will have this in my own world and uh, the next um, challenge will be to make it look less, <laughs> less ugly than it is because it's a big whatever. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a like. Maybe subscribe because I will be making more of this stuff as I uh, get further on in the game. Bye.